Mr. Sloan's office? No, he's not back from court yet. Yes, I'll tell him. You heard about the verdict? Big. Too big. I I've told him a thousand times. Bob, for once, please win a nice, modest verdict. Uh, let's see. Oh, tickets. Uh, uh, passports. Itinerary. Ah, there they are. He's all set. Uh, did you alert Mrs. Sloan? Mrs. Sloan, the luggage, the limousine. All alerted and ready. Good. And now if we can sneak him past the other partners, he can be off. Uh, he needs a rest badly. Uh, until Bendis started writing these articles about me, I used to think I knew exactly how it felt. I've been begging him for weeks to come see you, Mr. Sloan. I grabbed him and I said, Red, what the hell are you trying to tell me? Well, he said that they wouldn't publish it if there wasn't some truth to it. And uh, Denny said, don't worry about it, Denny, it'll all blow over? They always say it'll blow over. Somebody's got to stop this man. So who? You? Alone? I mean, you're in trouble. You're hot. Everybody who knows you wants to be disassociated from you. They want to remain clean and safe and antiseptic. But if it's not true, they want to know that. Will they? You know what I mean? If you tell most people that there's a fire down the block, they'll ask, which way is the wind blowing? Or it's like the so what uh, Bendix says is true. Exactly. Well, then is it false? I can exactly say that. Which is exactly the same as saying, maybe it's true. I mean, if it's false, deny it. Call it a lie. Thank you, David. That's part of your answer right there. Their claims are of one long alcoholic plea. The big, brave drinking buddy. What do you say to that? Sure, I drink. So what? I, I'm not a... I'm not a drunken, immoral, yellow-bellied degenerate who tried to give the impression he was a fearless war correspondent. You ever been afraid? Of course I'm here. Right. Well, then you're not exactly fearless, are you? I never said I was. He said I tried to give that impression. Well, that's just the point. He tells a lie about you, and it's your character that gets called into question. Do you have any idea what it means to have your character called into question in a court of law? He lied about me, and I didn't prove it. But prove you're not immoral? But from that moment on, it was uh, no longer a case about the right to be immune from life. The desperate battle to prove that his client wasn't a homosexual. An issue that had nothing to do with the case. A charge that had nothing to do with his client. Bob finally won his legal vindication. But in the process, the man lost his wife, family, Breakdown. Spent four years in a sanatorium. He had fought and won. Losing is even worse. I apologize if I spoke too loud or too frankly. I only regret one thing. That the Robert Sloan of 20 years ago, one who didn't know so damn much about practical realities, isn't here anymore. He's the lawyer I need. Go, go down to the elevator, stop corporate, and chase him down the block if you have to, bring him back here. 